Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So this video, I'm going to talk about the 2023 Regina Expo. Um, unfortunately, I bought my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles post again to get signed. And unfortunately, Judith Hogg cancelled yet again. Two years in a row. And she was also the first guest to be announced last year and this year. Um, so she cancelled I think on Friday or something or early Saturday morning but uh, yeah so cancelled again. Um, I think she had like a family emergency which I understand and I hope and I wish her family well. I know there was a lot of people on a little bit social media that were a little bit upset, but um, you know it is what it is. You know we can't control life. Life throws us curve balls, and everybody should know that. Um, so that was the only that was the only cancellation that they had this year. Again. But moving on, I got to meet Amy Jo Johnson. I got everything that I wanted signed by Amy Jo. And you know what? I'm going to actually save that for the next video. <laughs> because that's going to be... Um, I was pretty excited. But also this year was... My wife Christina came with me this year. And also this year was her first time... Like this, she went to three expos with me. She went to the 2014 expo. And then she came to the Saskatoon expo this year. That was in May. And she came to this year's in Regina. So I'm happy that she came. And I think she kind of she enjoyed herself. Um, and what she got was these. There was a guy that was selling a whole bunch of um, specially made stuff. Um, like shot glasses, coasters, which I'll show you guys and all that stuff. So this is what she got. Shot glasses of, obviously, this is Captain of the Fighters. That was the only thing that she wanted. I did ask if she wanted an autograph of Amy Jo Johnson or a picture with her, and she's like, nope, I'm good. So, okay. And the next one I got was a glass coaster of Mortal Kombat. They were $15 each or four for 50, and I think you could mix and match. They had like um, a few other ones, like uh, Blue Jays and all that stuff. But I wanted to get one. Maybe next time when they come around again, if they come next year, maybe I'll get more. Um, and then I finally got and completed this. So this was the only one I needed. It was Casey Jones. I need a cover for this. And I officially have all of them. So I got all of them. I got Shredder for Christmas. And then picked up Raphael I think a four that one time and then I think I picked the three of the other ones at uh, HG uh, no uh, amazing stories so Casey Jones and I have all of them so completed I've completed the set so I'm happy about that and this one here I am not a huge fan of AEW some of you guys might know on social media I'm not a huge fan I don't support it but due to the fact that uh, you can't find action figures of this person at all, unless it's buy on eBay or Amazon. Um, so I got myself an Owen Hart action figure. Um, this is my second AEW Owen Hart figure, and that is the only reason why I bought it, because of Owen Hart. I'm a huge Owen Hart fan. I am doing, I have a tribute uh, shelf full just of Owen Hart action figures. And this is where that's going to go once we go out to the acreage again. Um, so, pretty excited. How about that? Um, and that's it. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, the 2023 Expo was pretty awesome. I enjoyed it. Um, we were there for about oh, one, two, four, four hours, four to five hours. And we left about just after three o'clock. And um, yeah, so 
she enjoyed herself, I think, and she was also, this is the first time she went to two expos with me the same year, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so as always guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video as I talk about meeting Amy Jo Johnson. Talk to you guys soon.